What is up, Donateers? It is Scott coming to you with yet another product that I use and I think you should buy. Um, again, we're not sponsored. Don't get anything from this. I just know that I have had some horrible time out in the woods with some bad gear before, and I don't want you guys to have to suffer through what I had to do. So we've talked about boots. We've talked about packs. We've even talked about rifles. What we haven't talked about is how to get your rifle out into the woods. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways. There's a thousand and one slings out there. And from trying to hike through some mountains in Arizona or some mountains in Montana with nothing but a sling, I think we all know it is a royal bit. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot we're on YouTube. I can't talk like that. Um, but I think we all know where, where I was going with that. It is miserable hiking with just a sling and a rifle over your shoulder. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can pack out with your rifle. You can use those deep well pockets, the stretchy ones on the sides that I was telling you guys about with my Vapor Series pack from Everly Stock, and you can secure your rifle in that way. What I don't care for on that is it leaves your rifle sticking about three feet up past you, and it gets caught on everything. It's a pain to be able to take it or pull it out, put it back in, do anything you need. It's pretty much useless on the side of your pack unless you completely drop pack, completely set everything up. There's no on the go. You also, again, got to worry about it getting caught on branches and leaves and other things. I used to use the scabber that came with the Everly Stock mainframe, and I liked that for a little bit. Um, completely hands-free. It wove into the Molly attachment. It went in between the frame and my pack, right in the center where the meat shelf would be. And it was convenient. Um, I went away from it though for the simple reason that the way it's designed, the bottom of it sticks out below the frame. So anytime I would wanna drop my pack, or even if I didn't drop my pack and I just wanted to take a seat real quick on a log or a rock or anything while I'm out hiking around with it, I had to be cognizant of that and I had to just lay my pack on its front, which is again how I know it can be drugged through the dirt, drugged through the rocks, and it's not gonna rip because that's what I had to do a couple of times. But I've since gone away from that as well. So today, what I am gonna be talking to you guys about is the Kifaru Gun Bearer. Now, that's what I got right in front of me. Um, Matt's been using it for a little bit, and like any good little brother, I saw what he did and just went and followed him. So if you look at a couple of our pictures, our videos from Montana, you'll be able to see it in action, you'll be able to see it with him, but it is a very solid system. It's easy to set up, and I'm even gonna show you guys how to set up. A few things right off the get-go, uh, it is, again, called the Kifaru Gun Bearer. You can Google that, get on their website. Uh, it retails from $51.75 all the way up to $69. They have a couple of different options. You can either go left-handed or right-handed. Uh, they have a short 16-inch attachment. They have a long 30.5-inch attachment. And those are going to be the $51.75 Retail. Those are specifically made for the Kifaru packs. Now, I don't have one, obviously. Um, and if you don't, that's fine. You can still get their universal mount, and that's what I have. That is the $69 one, and it's made for any pack. So it will come with the heavy duty cradle, a short strap attachment for your waist guard, and a long strap attachment in case someone's running a ridiculously long special forces sniper rifle 50 caliber something i don't i honestly don't know why you would need this one it is a huge strap and your gun is going to be down by your knees but hey if you have that more power to you and it also comes with the strap that goes around your shoulder strap uh, so the way that this thing sets up is the buttstock of your gun goes in the cradle and it'll be sitting attached or waist strap sorry It'll be attached to your waist strap. You can Velcro it in and the buttstock goes in here. The rifle itself will come up underneath your arm. It'll be secured right next to your shoulder strap by this. And then you can hike hands-free. Your rifle's right there. It's taken all the weight off of your shoulders and everything else is putting it with your pack. So you're not sitting there having to continually adjust that sling 
um, worrying about it falling off, doing anything like that. Again, Matt used our entire time in Montana, has done nothing but swear by how great it is. So I figured I had to give it a try. And if I'm gonna give it a try, I'll bring it to you guys as well. All right, folks, so as you know, I'm a man of my word. I believe in uh, actions instead of talking. And so I'll show you guys just how easy it is to attach. Again, this is my Everly Stock F1 mainframe pack. Uh, well, it's, it's the frame. I don't currently have a pack on it, but if you wanna know more about this, watch my review on this. I also talk about their Vapor Series packs, which I use. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. No issues answering those. But again, today we're talking about the gun bear. So on my waist strap here, I have a little bit of molly. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it on my right side and it attaches super simple. You just gotta un-Velcro, slide it up through the molly, like so, nice and easy. And boom. I think it felt like an eternity because I know you guys are watching me, but that was probably only 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. And I have the cradle in. I'm already 50% done with getting this thing set up. Now, that's where the buttstock's gonna go. It's gonna run up to my shoulder strap. And again, nice simple Velcro. All I'm gonna do, run that around. my shoulder strap underneath this uh, little clip that they have and Velcro it in. Then I rotate it around, that way you guys can see. And this is where the barrel of the rifle is gonna go. Now I'm pretty sure I literally just set this up in about one minute. That is how quick and easy and effective it is. So now let's show you guys what I look like with it on. All right, folks, ain't movie magic great? So as you can see, I am now wearing my pack. Don't make fun of me. I don't got the uh, straps all cinched down like normally would because I'm just showing you guys what that gun bear I was talking about looks like on your pack. So as you can see up here, I got it woven through my shoulder strap. And this is where the barrel portion of the rifle is going to go. And then down here, you can see I still have the cradle version. So we're just going to show you how it fits in. Gonna take my rifle, put the buttstock right into the cradle, bring this right up top, take the strap, weave it over top, put it through the little buckle here, pull it nice and tight, cinch it down, and I am hands-free, gun in front of me if I need it, I can just pop it off and it's available in about half a second. I can climb over stuff, I can move through stuff, I can give my buddy a high five because he got an animal and I didn't because, I don't know, it was his turn this time. I can jump, I can run, I can do whatever I want. And look, this thing's moving around a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. It's not getting in my way. If I got my trekking poles, I can still hike, I can still climb, I can go up, I can go down, I can move all around. We can do the hokey pokey if we even wanted. And this rifle is not going anywhere. It's a very convenient, very comfortable way of carrying your rifle on hunts. If you need a quick shot, again, pop it out. And I'm up and ready to go in about a second. It's also, again, very easy. To put back in and keep going on your hike, keep going on your stock. Keep going on whatever you need to do. It's quiet, it's light, it's a great product and a great way to carry your gun. Hope you guys check it out, hope you guys look into it, hope you guys like and subscribe to this video. Go over to our Instagram, Tom's over there. Again, drop him a line, say hi. He's pretty lonely up there in Michigan by himself. Until next time, hope you guys get outdoors.